Oh, Polly, lovely Polly, the route has now begun. And we must go a marching to the beating of the drum. Go dress yourself all in your best and come along with me. I'll take you to the war, my love, in high Germany. At the end of the last ice age, the melting glacial waters flooded into a yawning valley on the south coast of what is now Cornwall. The result was the Carrick Roads, a deep meandering estuary which locals claim is the third largest natural harbour in the world. For centuries, the Carrick Roads have been a gateway between England and the rest of the world, but in times of war, that meant they needed to be closely guarded. Standing sentinel on a peninsula overlooking the water is a majestic circular fortress ringed with stone ramparts. Pendennis Castle was Henry VIII's answer to escalating tensions with France and Spain, and from its imposing battlements you can see for miles across the breathtaking Cornish coast. Pendennis Castle was built by Henry VIII between 1540 and 1545, and it's part of this huge undertaking to defend the English coast that was known at the time as the device by the king. Paired with St Moore's Castle over the water, it defended the Carrick Roads, this remarkable deep water estuary. Pendennis is a sophisticated structure designed to give a 360 degree field of fire. It's really all about firearms, cannon. And the technology of war was something that Henry VIII was fascinated with throughout his life. At the time that Pendennis was constructed, Cornwall had a very powerful sense of its own identity, very much as it does today, the Cornish language being spoken and local gentry had a great deal of influence. The economy was based around fishing and and tin mining was thriving. It might have been a long way from London, but this was a really important place strategically. And that's because the dangers associated with crossing the Channel at its shortest point, closest to France, meant that often ships would journey down the coast and moor here in the Carrick Roads before setting out on longer journeys. Pendennis didn't just protect the Carrick Roads, it protected the fleet. Pendennis might look like it has stood unchanged for centuries, a symbol of a bygone era, but in fact it's a dynamic place which has seen constant use and change. It has been added to repeatedly and has played an important role in most of England's major conflicts of the past 500 years. Pendennis has been part of the military infrastructure of Britain for centuries. Whilst built in the 1540s, the site was in use right up to 1956 and many of the buildings on the site actually come from these later periods. This means it's been used during the civil wars of the 17th century. In fact, it was besieged in 1646 the American War, the Napoleonic Wars, as well as both world wars. During the Peninsular War in the early 19th century, Pendennis was used as a supply base. From here, ships would have left with supplies for troops in Spain and Portugal. And in fact, troops themselves would also have left from here. In the past, when you say goodbye to somebody before a long journey, there was a real possibility that you might never see them again. And certainly, this would be the case if you're heading off to war. Pendennis could have been the last part of Britain that some troops would ever see. And people are people, and even in the past, the emotions felt would be every bit as recognisable to us today. Thousands of farewells have taken place at Pendennis over the centuries. And in keeping with this long history, we've selected a lament of two lovers separated by war. If Pendennis Castle is a symbol of nationhood and military power, this song turns instead to the ordinary people caught up in those conflicts. Just like the many soldiers who would have parted ways with their loved ones at Pendennis without knowing what the future held, this song contains a promise to return, which is far from certain. 
The poignant lyrics of High Germany, sung for us here by John Bowden, really capture that sense of longing for a future reunion, which is held suspended by the fates just out of reach. Oh, Polly, lovely Polly, the route has now begun And we must go a-marching to the beating of the drum Go dress yourself all in your best and come along with me I'll take you to the war, my love, in high Germany Lovely Willy, come list what I do say My feet, they are so tender, I cannot march away And besides, my dearest Willy, I am with child by thee Not fitted for the war, my love, in high Germany Well, I'll buy for you a noble horse, and on it you shall ride. And all my delight shall be in riding by your side. We'll stop at every alehouse and drink when we are dry. We'll be true to one another, get married by and by. Oh, cursed be the cruel wars that ever they should rise And out of merry England press many a man likewise They press my true love from me likewise, my brothers three And sent them to the bloody war in high Germany My friends I do not value, my foes I do not fear For now my love has left me, I wander far and near And when my baby it is born and smiling on my knee Then I'll think of lovely Willie in high jazz 